What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a pretender subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And as always, I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen, this story happened in January 10th of this year. And uh, it was on the news because of some controversy surrounding this story. This lady right here is uh, April Ballantyne. She was 31 years old. She was an expecting mother. Her first child. She's from Inglewood, California. And uh, she delivered the baby. And um, she didn't survive. Stuff like this happens in childbirth. A lot of times. And it's unfortunate. But the way this situation was handled, it could have been prevented. A hospital called Sentinella Hospital out there in California is being sued and the family wants answers. I'm going to play this video clip for you. It's five minutes long, but I'll play the first three minutes because I want to keep the time down. But I will leave this uh, rest of the video description. I mean, in the description box. And I employ all of you guys to go check it out because this could have happened to anybody. And it's a sad, sad reality we have. A lot of people that have these prestigious jobs are still jobs to them. So the neglect is real, regardless of if they have something that's important and other people's lives depend on them being responsible. This is a sad case. Shouldn't have happened to nobody. I'll stop talking and let you guys check it out. It's heartbreaking. Take a look. I would not have any complications. I would have a good birthing experience. April Valentine said these affirmations every single day. She thought she would live to see her first child, Anaya, born. But April didn't make it out of the maternity ward at Sentinella Hospital in Inglewood, California. April Valentine was 31 years old. Now, following months of protest, that ward is set to close October 25th, 2023. Oh, no. Valentine's family filed a lawsuit on Tuesday, alleging in part wrongful death and professional negligence with demand for a jury trial. <laughs> the Valentine family filed a complaint with the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, alleging systemic and racist practices and seeking answers regarding the circumstances of her death. We are here to amplify the story of April Valentine. An initial inspection of Valentine's incident found Sentinella failed to prevent the deficiencies that caused or are likely to cause serious injury or death. The L.A. County coroner ruled her cause of death on January 10th, 2023, a blood clot, which the hospital failed to assess for and intervene in. Valentine's partner, Nigel Robertson, and her sister, Keisha Cordova, were at Sentinella during the labor. They allege Valentine's doctor, Gwen Allen, did not arrive to the hospital for hours. They said, well, we can't call the doctor. The doctor will cuss us out. The doctor don't like us calling her. A formal inspection saying the hospital repeatedly failed to notify the physician as Valentine's vitals became abnormal. They allege as the hours went on, nurses were inattentive, turned her doula away despite previously greenlighting it, and pressured Valentine, who wanted a natural birth, to get an epidural. Soon after, they allege Valentine's legs began swelling and she threw up. Valentine's partner and sister say eventually April stopped breathing, but nurses did not perform CPR, so Robertson did. According to the inspection, minutes later, doctors intervened with CPR, but April died. Their baby delivered by crash C-section, unresponsive but alive. Beyond Valentine and the maternity ward, an ongoing NBC investigation found substantive instances where Sentinella failed to keep records and notify physicians and family about patient pain and conditions. Following a public information request, NBC obtained statements of deficiencies and plans of correction, outlining incidents at Sentinella, including failing to notify family following a drastic change in patient condition, ongoing reports of rodent activity in the hospital due to an unfixed broken door that was later fixed and, in one case, patient death as a result of failing to ensure proper medical care. Documents say the hospital took plans of corrective action, including multiple incidents of staff counseling and re-education, random cleanliness tests, and, in at least one case, employee suspension and termination. 
In a statement, the attorney for Valentine's attending physician, Dr. Gwen Allen, said Dr. Allen is prohibited by federal law from publicly commenting about her treatment of Ms. Valentine. Dr. Allen did not cause Ms. Valentine's death. In a statement to NBC, Sentinella Hospital Medical Center said in part, the center disputes the allegations made against the hospital and is dedicated to delivering compassionate, quality care to all patients. The center denies allegations of systemic racism, noting that their health care team reflects the varied ethnic and racial makeup of the community, adding that the hospital has been recognized as a top national facility. All right, guys, that was the uh, sad news of what happened to Ms. April Valentine while she was delivering her uh, child. I gotta say something. As sad as the story is, that's a beautiful baby. Y'all gotta admit, that's a pretty baby she gave birth to. I gotta give it to her. And uh, it's heartbreaking. You know, delivering a child, I don't know how it is from a female standpoint of delivering a child, I would be horrified. I always said if I was a woman, I wouldn't have no children. I have several children myself. They're grown now, but I've witnessed childbirth and it's not for me. But um, let me just begin by this, saying this. Sentinella Hospital is wrong. They are wrong. And I want you guys to pay attention to the last part of that little video I showed, which it was a couple of more minutes, but I didn't want to push it due to YouTube guidelines. They prohibit the doctors from making comments. Of course, the doctor what represents the hospital. Basically, what they're saying is no matter what the doctor is, you keep him away, him or her away from the press and let our lawyers handle it because they have these cutthroat lawyers that will uh, play a lot of semantics and drag these cases in court to where they lose interest or the settlement gets lower and lower to where they get off scot free a lot of times, which is messed up. And, um, Second thing I wanted to show you with this was they said they failed to uh, administer adequate medical attention and to do the right things. And they're right. They did fail that. They said, look at the semantics they played with the quote from the hospital. The hospital says, yeah, it's unfortunate that this happened, but uh, she, they're not responsible for what happened to her. The doctor's not responsible for what he did, the doctor, she didn't kill April Valentine, but you aided in her death. So let's not play these goofy games. You did. You came hours later. And that's another thing. During these times when these uh, people and ladies, you can attest to this. When you have a pediatrician, they are with you from day one, giving you the vitamins, monitoring you, taking ultrasounds and all this stuff. It is their job to keep up with your health concerns and whatever uh, trials and tribulations you go through for, through your pregnancy. They have windows and calendar markings to when, you know, up to a week, two weeks of anything can happen if a baby's delivered too early or too late. That's just their job. I have clients that are pediatricians that, that you know, I work for or work with, with my business I run. And they talk about it. There's no such thing as an easy delivery. There's no such thing as a routine delivery. What can go wrong will go wrong. There's so many mitigating factors with bringing a child in this world that it will make your head spin. This doctor knew about that and the hospital knows about that. So all of that beating around the bush and acting like y'all didn't know nothing and the doctor's not guilty. Oh, it was just a blood clot. What everybody's failing to talk about is it would have been found out if she was there or it had a chance of being found out because she exhibits uh, symptoms that the nurses and nurses aides can't diagnose. Y'all agree or disagree? This all on the doctor. That's a beautiful woman with a beautiful baby. Guy got a baby by bless. Look like he looked like he he had him a catch. He looked like a decent guy. Spoke very professional. From a point of hurt, didn't act crazy on camera, didn't go off. He was a man about it. I give him respect. So that right there must have been a testament of who she was to, you know, be with this guy. But all in all, 
Here's another thing, and check this stat out. I had to write this up here. It says black women and child child deaths during childbirth are four times higher than the general population in California alone. So in the state of California, infant or mother death during childbirth is four times higher than any other race out there. I wonder why that is. That's, that's a very interesting stat. But it's a stat all the same. And it's a stat that hospitals know out there. Because you remember, all these medical stats and stuff, they come from what? Medical doctors. All of these people go to these conferences. They know this. Why wasn't the doctor there? And why would you curse people out for calling you to do your job in an emergency when that's what the fuck you're supposed to do? See the game, y'all? Somebody dropped the ball and it ain't on their side. It's on Sentinel's side. You see, whoever they said, they said, we want to push for a jury trial. That means you got to get up there and you got to tell the truth and you're going to get asked the right questions. Now, they just filed this lawsuit. That's why this is making national news. My question is, why is it taking so long? One thing I might I might be overanalyzing, but I think this is what it was. They might have been saying, hey, you know, the hospital get back with you, get back with you, get back to you. They sitting there waiting for answers that probably never came. Or if they did, they got a corny letter saying, hey, we absolve ourselves all wrongdoing. Uh, we found this out and they not answering to the okie doke that the hospital tried to pull. So now they press with a lawsuit and they should. Good for you, sir. You know what I'm saying? These people dropped the ball. I hope uh, April Valentine gets justice. I hope our family gets justice because there's no way and all of that stuff, those affirmations she wrote every day and said to herself every day from her excitement to bring life into the world. Let me tell you something. A lot of uh, women look at childbirth as a rite of passage. It was a tremendous honor for her. It was a tremendous honor for her. You could see she put a lot of time into that board. Did you see that board? That board was written up and it was neat, color coded and everything. She was excited. She never got a chance to see a baby. <clears throat> Y'all just think about that. Leave me a comment, man. Tell me what you think. I think they need to push this all the way to the letter. That hospital wrong and that doctor damn sure wrong. She need to get out of there. Did you see the other stuff? Oh, and I want y'all to pay attention to how corporate uh, businesses do. Oh, we're we're, we're uh, taking preventive measures after everything was exposed. They trying to tie up loose ends now. Oh, we're, we're taking care of that. That don't make the problem go away because if you could take care of anything, you would have brought her back to be reunited with her baby. But she didn't do that. You can't do that. So you do this little slick shit. Oh, we, we're addressing the problems that make it go away. Don't help nothing. Don't help nothing. Then you hear the BS. Oh, uh, racism. Now, I don't know the situation with the racism because they said, remember, the father and the sister was in there. I don't know. I don't want to touch that. I don't know what that's about. But the part where he said, they said, oh, as far as racism, we have a lot of uh, different ethnic groups that work in our hospital. So now, what, what ethnic group was the doctor? Who, who's calling racism? Why would they call race? What ethnic group? Oh, the doctor will cuss us out if we call her a her, a woman, probably Knowing about child, I mean, she know about childbirth. She delivering babies, and then cussing you out to deliver a baby. Cause if you got a mercy, then they did a crash C-section. Do you know what a crash C-section is, y'all? You know, a C-section is when they just you know cut you open and they follow the, the line. They put a line on you. They draw it on. Crash C-section when they got to get the baby out so bad they just cut you open like okay we got and just tear you apart because they knew she was gone already, and that man had to witness that. Think about that. Had to witness that. It's bad enough as a man to make sure your baby's got all the fingers and toes and come out healthy. We all think about that. You used to watch it a long time ago on cartoons or whatever back in the 70s and 60s and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not that old, but I remember them cartoons where they got me smoking cigarettes, walking back and forth and stuff. Wife in there screaming, having a baby. He waiting for the word. Is she OK? Is the baby OK? Is the baby healthy? That's how guys think. Is the baby all right? We never really think about the mother because we think the mother's going to be all right. You know, it's just how guys think. In this case, it wasn't. It left the man heartbroken. A child without a mother and a family in mourning.
and a hospital being dismissive. Get the fuck out of here. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys know the family, give them my deepest condolences because this is foul. And it's a lot of times when you have these entities that are in power and they know how to finagle stuff because you've seen what it said. They showed a lot of the uh, different things. They was dismissive. They was hiding information. They was uh, not telling people the truth about what happened to people when things would happen during childbirth. They already got a resume of BS. Strike while the fire is hot, baby. Get them. I'll see you in the next video. Y'all take care. And don't have no babies at this Sentinella Hospital. Hell, have a water birth. Shit. Make out better. Take care.